On January the 25th, 2005, I was involved in a very serious motorcycle accident. I went all the way from the left lane, all the way across the highway, and hit the concrete wall at 85 miles an hour. The limb salvage person, they actually have one of those. He came and visited my family and told them that, you know, it was his job to save people's legs and arms. But because of the trauma that I was in and that my legs sustained, that it was best for me to have my leg amputated. I don't regret that decision whatsoever. Not at all. I'm happy. I didn't know that I would be, but I am, very much so. My little boy was very concerned that I wouldn't lead a normal life. He thought I would be in the wheelchair for the rest of my life. Uh, so it was a big concern to him. I have a friend who was a police officer. He uses Scott Savage prosthetics, who lost his leg on duty. He came and visited me while I was in the hospital. He came in and educated me on what he had, how he used it. Um, it was amazing. Then he took my little boy and uh, he walked and ran down the hallway with him right outside my room. Um, they were gone forever. They came back and Hayden had a whole new outlook on what his dad was gonna be able to do. And through the education that I had had, um, from the visits that I had in the hospital, um, I started with Scott Savage Prosthetics. When I went in and visited with them, I knew that that's where I wanted to go without any question. When I went into their front door, from the people at the front desk all the way back to the prosthesis that I saw, it was just like you were there and it was your family, that you were at a family reunion. It was wonderful. I couldn't believe the way the people acted towards me and they never met me in my life. That was a great experience to have. Um, and that experience hasn't changed. I walk fine. Matter of fact, when I wear pants and not shorts, nobody ever knows. I really thought that there's a lot of things that I did before my amputation that I thought was completely over. And have you know, none of it's changed. One day my prosthesis though called me and said, hey, we're going to the lake, meet us there. What do you say? because it was pretty much meet us there and hung up. I got in the water, attached the board to my feet, and it took me a little bit, about 30 minutes of up and trying, up and trying, up and trying. And I finally got it, and I couldn't believe it. So if it wasn't the push of my prosthesis for me to do that, I don't know that I would ever, that part of my life, I don't know that I would ever done that. The family feel that you get when you walk through the door at Scott Savage Prosthetics is just like if you walk through your front door at your house. Even the love that they have towards what they do for you. I want to make sure that I get your leg right. I want to make sure that it fits properly. I want to make sure that you're able to use it. I think that's very important. You can't just go in somewhere and slap a leg on and think that your life is going to go that you're going to be able to go on with your life 100%. That's not going to happen. You have to have somebody that cares enough for you as an individual and cares about their work that they do for you. I'm so thankful, so thankful that I have what I have because without them, I don't believe that I would be in the condition that I'm in today.